Hey guys, this is Gene Jensen, and in this video we're going to talk about the Carolina rig. Just basically how to rig it. Um, Carolina rig is something I use to cover water, uh, to search out uh, deep water, all kinds of stuff. Um, what it consists of is it consists of a worm hook, offset worm hook, round bend worm hook, or offset round bend, extra wide gap, um, you know, any type of a, of a worm hook that has, I always like to make sure that it has an offset um, bend on it, okay? It also consists of a bullet weight or some type of a sinker, you know, egg sinker people use, um, long sinker, skinny sinkers, just any kind of sinker, um, a bead, and a swivel, okay? And then, th once again, this is one of those soft plastic rigs that you can put anything on. I like using straight tail worms. I like using creature baits, lizards, all kinds of different baits. You can put any kind of soft plastic on, on, a, uh, on a worm hook or on a soft plastic worm hook, okay? All right, let's get at it. I'll show you how to rig it. All right, well, the first thing you do is you take your sinker and you slide your sinker onto the line, okay? Then the bead, and what the bead is used for is, is noise. Um, you know, use glass beads, you can use metal beads, you can use plastic beads. This just happens to be a plastic bead. Um, but it's, it's used to, to make a little bit of noise when the, when the bullet weight uh, clicks up against it. Okay, and it's also used to protect the knot um, again, uh, from getting banged up from the sinker, okay, or from the weight. All right, then you take your swivel. And you tie your swivel on any knot will do. That uh, that or any fishing knot will do, really. You know, I'm using a improved clinch knot. Okay. All right, then you need a leader, and a leader length, I, I use a short leader most of the time, 14 to 18 inches long, um, you know, short leader in the springtime, longer leader later on in the year when the grass gets a little longer, or, you know, it just all depends on what the bass want, but I tend to use a shorter leader because it's easier to cast long distances, okay, and you tie your leader onto the other end of that swivel, or the other side of the swivel. Sure to cut the right end, the tag end. Okay. Then you just tie your worm hook on. Okay, this is a uh, Gamagatsu offset round bin. Been using them for years. I do not like wide, uh, extra wide gap hooks. Okay, and this is a Carolina rig. Once again, it's got a sinker, then a bead, then a swivel, then a leader, then a hook. Okay, and then you put the hook, you, you know, what they call Texas rigging these days. You know, you rig anything. Let me see, this is, this is a rage bug. You know, put the hook through. And the advantage that this lure has is you can cover, you know, a, a lot more water than you can with a Texas rig. You just drag it on the bottom. You can feel for drops. You can feel what's on the bottom, hard bottom, soft bottom. And and this, you know, and, and the commotion that the, the sinker makes and the bead make when they're dragging along the bottom attracts the fish. And by the time the fish get to it, they look behind it and they see this little nice little things coming along behind it. And they'll grab it. And, and uh and that's it carolina rig if you like this video and more interested in how to uh how to fish it click this video right here it'll take you over to uh to one that i made a couple years ago that shows you how to uh how to fish it like i always say take somebody out fishing uh introduce them to fishing watch their smile as they learn how to fish uh introduce them to my videos share my videos across instagram and facebook and all of social media and uh, more importantly, get out on the water, go out and catch some fish and have some fun. Take care. Have a great day.